And Denise, quickly, I'm going to say you can't have it both ways. You can't say that if you that you want to reduce crime and find a way in which you can collaboratively work with police, and then say you don't want the police in in in, in the neighborhood. I what, Sevilla just asked the question. My mother lives in Whittier, and when I'm at work, I want to know that my mom calls the police. District two is is our district two office. That a cop is going to be there to take care of my mother. I think that there has to be a balanced approach when, you're, when, you, when you go into leadership. If you're going to lead and the people who are paid to serve you are the police officers, you have to find ways to collaboratively work together. If you cannot find ways to collaboratively work with each other and increase the cultural competency as well as increase co community policing and also honor the officers that do good work but also deal with the officers that don't, there has to be a balanced approach. Um, if we're going to look at community policing and safer communities, we have got to work collaboratively with the police. We have no other option. But we also have to deal with officers that are not um, being positive um, leaders or using their authority in positive ways. So I say have a balanced approach to it. I've, I've demonstrated my ability by chairing the Bias Policing Task Force and also by being a member of the Cultural Competency Board for the Denver Police. And I know that I can do that as your city council member.